Hey, what's up, guys? This is Antoine from High Dancer Pythons, and today we're going to do a video that I thought I would never ever do on this channel because there's so many out there already on YouTube, and that is how to properly sex your ball pythons. Okay, we're going to do two methods today. We're going to do one called popping, and then a little bit more accurate one called probing. All right, so, um, couple of reasons why you need to be able to pop and probe your ball pythons. One, because you need to determine whether or not you have a male or a female. And sometimes just taking the breeder's word for it or the seller's or where you got it from just doesn't cut it. Especially if you want to be a breeder and even more if you want to be a respectable breeder. So uh, one thing you shouldn't know is whether or not you're sending off a male or a female to your customers. Okay. So um, there's a lot of misconceptions people still have out there about ball pythons. Uh, one being, oh, I can tell just how it looks if it's a male or a female. The tail might be a different length and the spurs might be different sizes. Or if it's an adult male, like he won't, he only be about 800 grams. Or if it's an adult female, she's going to be about 2,500, 3,000 grams. That's all wrong. There's super huge males out there. There are smaller females. There are skinnier males. There are skinnier females. The only way to foolproof determine whether or not you have a male or female with ball pythons is to sex them with the pro kit and, and by popping them. So I'm going to show you guys uh, four different snakes. I'm going to show you a male that's not sexually mature yet so you can see how those hemipings look when they pop. And I'll show you a sexually mature male so you'll see what happens when you go to invert his hemipings. You start seeing sperm come out. And then I'll show you a young female and an adult female. Do I have an adult female? Yeah, I got an adult female in there too. So you get to see how those look. And then we're going to uh, show you how to probe them. And also too, if you guys have any questions after this, make sure you put in the comment below. Find me on Instagram. You can always message me if you want me to help you go through like sexing your stuff. Or if you have any questions, so send me any video and stuff like that, all right? So without further ado, let's get started. For the male ball pythons, they carry the hemipenes along the tail right here. I post a graphic right now on the screen so you guys can see a little visual, like x-ray image of it. So when you pop the male, what you want to do is take the back of your finger where the vent is kind of lining up there, kind of rest it here like that along the side. And then with your thumb, just pull it back just a little tiny bit and expose it. And with this thumb here, what I like to do is I like to straighten it out first, open up a little bit and then come back and just roll it. And then you'll see the two little darker spots that's darker than the rest of his color right here. So, boom, see those? I don't wanna, you don't wanna press too hard, but right there, those are Timmy Peens. See that? And then when you release it, it goes right back inside, okay? So once again, a little bit of pressure here, roll back, and then just like a tube of toothpaste, roll it forward, and there you go. Now I'm gonna show you with the adult lemon blast clown. He's about to go and shed, so he may be a little uncooperative, but we'll see. Same principle here. A lot of people say it's hard to check males of this size, but I disagree. So same principle applies. Find a little spot here, rest your finger right here behind the vent, pull it back a little bit. And already before I pull it back, you can see this substance right here, that's burn. So pull back a little bit and then you see the penis come out right there with all the sperm on top of it, okay? I mean, you can come out harder than that, put a little more pressure, there you go. There's one and then two. Good. And this is also good to do if you're about to breed a male, he does have like stuck sperm along here because you can just kind of clean that off, wipe it on the female, get their scent all over the cage, or you can use this same sperm to put in with another male so that way you can entice them to start breeding all right, so one more time, a little bit of space here, roll back, find a spot, roll it up. Boom, that's a heavy pain. That's a male. All right, so I'm gonna show the same thing with the sub-adult female. This is a 50-50 yellow belly or asphalt, and obviously you want it to prove out to be asphalt. So same thing, so you get to see how it looks when it's a female. A little space here, roll back, put a little bit of pressure, and when you roll here, you get no visible sperm, you get no hemipenes, just a little fleshy patch that comes out and and there's a little notch in the middle and that's it. So, one more time. A little bit of space here, roll back, a little bit of pressure, tube of toothpaste, nothing. 
And you'll get these little protrusions on the side, which are like scent glands and nothing else. And sometimes you get like a little bit of mess in there, but that's about it. That's what the female looks like. Normally, if it was a male and he did have smaller hemipenes, it'd be a little bit darker on the sides than the rest of the skin, where it's like a light pink here, where most of the time you see a male, it's a dark pink. So once again, here, roll back a little bit, use your thumb, nothing. All right, so right here is the probe kit. So it's gonna be different sizes depending on what size of animal you use. So for adult ball pythons, I usually go with this probe here. And then for babies, I'll go with like the second one about this size, all right, or kind of really small young ball python. So um, they're just metal and they're rounded at the tips. So that way when you put it in there, they don't injure the snake. And also you wanna make sure you use some kind of lubricant like Vaseline and it makes things go in there smoothly. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. So when you start to go probe them, you're gonna find the side pockets where the hemipenes would be if it was a male and just slowly insert it in there until you feel resistance. And then you're gonna mark it at the edge where it stops at and then pull it out and lay it on top of the vent and count how many scales or how big the gap is from the top of the vent until the tip of the tail and count the amount of scales and get a good estimate of what you got. So I'll show you guys what it looks like when you probe deep with a young male and an adult male, and I'll show you how short female ball pythons probe. First, we're gonna do is gonna take the probe and find a little side pocket of the vent right near his spur. Yeah, I'm gonna find a little pocket. I'm gonna slowly put it up there, and it's still going. I get some resistance, and then I'm gonna check it, and that's how far as things go. So this is definitely male. Well, we saw his peens earlier, so we knew that, but they probe pretty deep, and I can go on both sides to double check. Stay still, guy. And it's about right there. So, counting these scales on the here, he's about one, two, three, four, seven to eight. Subcondyl scales, he probably can go a little bit farther, but yeah, his peens are way down his tail. And if it was a female, once I went up there and felt some resistance, it probably would have stopped maybe about right here. So with a 150 gram animal right here, a female would have probed about here, whereas the male probed about here. So that's the difference in that. Now I'll show you what a bigger male. All right, now this is an adult male. So this probe here should go a ways in. So get a better view here. Here's the vent. Find that side pocket. Push it right along the side here. Stops. Look at that. So that's one side. And go to the other side. Find the hole, find a corner here. Just keep pushing. About there, boom. So that's definitely a male. So do the same thing on the adult female. Find the side pockets there, right along the vent. Ease your way up there. It stops about here. And she probed about that shallow on that side. Get it up there. Resistance is right there, stop. Look how shallow that goes. Where compared to a male this size, it was about there. All right? So just be careful when you get to the side of the vent. Find a hole in the vent and bring it all the way to the corner by the spur and then start to slowly pull it up there. If you put the probe, if you put the probe in there right away, you start to feel resistance and you're in the center, you're not gonna hit anything. Okay, you have to make sure you're off on the side in those side pockets. So here. Nice and gentle resistance. That's all you're gonna get from an adult female comparatively where the male was about right here. Short. Short. Female. 
guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that answers a lot of your questions about popping the probing ball pythons. Once again, shout out to my boy Ernie from Infinite Scales for the dope shirt. All his information will be in the description down below. So like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know every time a new video pops up. Till next time, peace.